Thank you for calling Morgan Taylor Homes. Please leave a message and we will call you right back. Hi, my name is Carolyn Trueblood and my boyfriend and I are first time home buyers and we were interested in your homes in the Rio Verde area. Well, that was exciting. Good morning, my name is Carolyn and welcome to my channel. I make videos mostly just so that I can look back on big things that are happening in my life. The small things that are happening in my life. I just want to have like some stuff to look back on one day. I guess today itself is not a very big day, but I am starting the process of getting my boyfriend and I going for buying a house. So we found like a builder that we like their floor plans, we like the area, and we like the prices. I just thought that I would call them and just get some more information. I just feel very grateful that we're even in the position where we can be like talking about this kind of stuff. So I think that I'm just gonna take you through this week because who knows, maybe some really exciting things will be happening. I'm not really sure, but just in case, I figure we should film. And I do have something that I did wanna talk about. So I decided to go through with a procedure that I have been wanting to do for a long time so i truly believe in loving yourself like unconditionally but there is like something that like i've thought a lot on and i've done a lot of research and so i decided to do sculpture on my chin and that is because of a lot of reasons a lot of reasons which i will sit down and get more into but basically it is a non invasive procedure that like lasers fat cells in a targeted area and it doesn't damage anything else but those fat cells and then your lymphatic system will drain it of course it's not a weight loss solution and that's not what i'm looking for i'm not looking to lose weight so i will sit down and talk more about my decision to do that because i do think it's really interesting and it's something that i'm very excited about and i want to share I just got back from doing a workout, so I'm gonna eat some food. some coffee now i got a call back from the place that we want to build a house from and they basically are going to email us some options that we have as far as homes that are within our price range that will be ready around the time that we need to move i should be getting an email for that later this afternoon so we are off and off wow off on an adventure this morning so i have been in contact with the builders of the houses that we're interested in they sent me the address to a couple different properties that they have available so i'm going to be driving out there alone today and then tomorrow i'll probably come back with my boyfriend but for now i'm kind of excited for this little like solo adventure i guess something that i'm definitely like worried about is i feel like i fall in love way too easily and i think like if i love the property like i'm just worried that i'm gonna like fall in love with it and then we aren't gonna have everything like ready in time let's go ahead and do this thing okay so i made it there was definitely some times on that drive where i was just saying like oh my god this is like a dream like it is so undescribably beautiful over here it is definitely in the middle of nowhere like don't get me wrong but it is incredible i think that the desert is beautiful and this is like the desert at its finest i am like in shock right now so there's definitely some workers walking around so we're gonna see this could be kind of awkward i don't know um i think i know which house because there's a couple houses that are being developed over here i think i know which one is the one that is for sale that we're looking at so let's go figure that out I 
I thought this would be the great room. This is where the kitchen would be. Little dining area. This is where the back covered patio would be. Nice living room. I'm trying to remember the layout of the house, but I think that this would be the master. With probably access to the balcony. Big master bathroom. Oh my god, this is so nice. I'm assuming laundry room. Maybe a bathroom? I don't know. Closet. And this is the garage. Very nice size. And then I think that this is the hallway to lead to a spare bedroom. So I think that this is one room with a little closet. And I think this is the second room. What is this? Is this another bedroom? <laughs> I'm so confused. And then this would be the backyard. Um, this lighting is gonna come and go, and I'm sorry. But anyways, just a couple thoughts on this place. In half a mile. Okay, first of all, beautiful location. Like, yes, it's far away, but like, my boyfriend doesn't even like people, like, let's be honest. So I feel like he would be completely fine with being this isolated. And for me, like, I am definitely secretly a homebody as long as I'm close enough to a big city to like go out on the weekends. Not like go out, obviously, I don't go out, but to go to dinner somewhere on the weekends like i am fine that is all that i need i need to be kind of close to a grocery store we're like 10 miles from a grocery store which isn't a huge deal i meal prep anyways this is i cannot believe i don't okay i don't know if i have said how much money this property is it's listed for five hundred and five thousand dollars for three bedrooms possibly five or possibly four bedrooms like it looked like the floor plan was set up a little bit differently so hopefully i was at the right house we're gonna see i'll keep you updated on that five hundred thousand dollars getting that much property it's on like over an acre and it's the most incredible view i've ever seen of the desert like are you kidding me like take all of my money right now like take it my prius is handling the dirt roads just fine which is great <laughs> i'm really proud of her Oh, it's not good, good. Mm. Okay, I'm going out a different way than I came in. I think I need to keep this in mind that if I'm in my Prius, I might need to stick to the other route in because this is, oh my God, I'm gonna be fine. Okay, I'll be fine. If you hear my Prius, just completely bottom out. Don't be freaking surprised. Ugh, ugh, ugh. So it's good to figure this out now, I guess. Okay, goodbye. My boyfriend and I went to these sites again today where the houses are, and turns out I definitely filmed the wrong house yesterday, so I'm gonna insert the footage of the correct house. Good, how are you? Yeah, can you FaceTime right now? Yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll call you. No idea what this room is. Probably a bathroom. Nice. Very nice size room. Another nice size room. What is this? Oh, okay. It's probably a laundry room. Oh, how nice. Yeah, this is huge. Nice big master. It's a huge closet. Babe, your garage would have the best view in the house. For sure. Look at that. I loved it just as much. It's just a little bit smaller and the view wasn't as great. But it still makes me very excited. We started working with a lender and a real estate agent yesterday it's good to have representation and stuff so i feel like i probably got like a couple steps ahead i just got so excited about that property so we just need to figure some stuff out first before we can like move forward with anything but still it's a super exciting time and i'm very grateful that we're even like considering any of this today has been very chill i haven't done anything thus i haven't picked up the camera i just got back from my second workout of the day and now I'm just gonna chill. So I'll update you tomorrow. So actually, we are going to be getting a Peloton. It's kind of a long story. But anyways, we kind of cleared out like a spot in the corner. Good morning. I 
don't look my best right now, but that's okay. So my boyfriend and I are going to have a fun day today. It is Sunday. We are going to be going to Cave Creek, Arizona. And I've never been up there and I know that they have like some cool stuff downtown. So I figured we would go check that out. There's also a couple houses that are over there and we can't like go into the houses obviously but i figure we could just like go drive by and see the area it's a little bit more out there but it's still like an actual city so the prices are a little bit better out there and the homes are like already built so there won't be as many of those costs of like upgrades and like all of the stuff that like comes along with building a new house so we're gonna go look at those and i'll take you along So I didn't film the houses and I apologize for that. My reasoning for that is that I was driving as we were like actually going by the houses and we just literally parked outside of them and looked at them from the outside and that was it. It was just like to get a feel of like the area that it was in. You saw that we went to Cave Creek and these houses were just like a little bit before that so just like a little bit south of there both of them were very nice the first one was about like 1600 square foot and it was five hundred and fifty thousand dollars. but then the other one was definitely in our budget but it was a lot smaller so it was pretty much in the same area just as nice of an area but it was three hundred and eighty five thousand dollars, which is significantly lower it would lower our mortgage so much it would provide us the opportunity to save more so there's a lot of like benefits to that but it was under 1200 square feet and the apartment that we lived in before this was actually bigger than that so it would be very small but it was still three bedrooms which is what we need so we would have everything that we could ever need to be comfortable there it just would be very small and there's nothing wrong with that less house for me to clean anyways I liked both of those again we really need to just hear back from the realtor and the lender before we can like really start you know making offers doing all of that cool stuff going back to the chin treatment thing i kind of just wanted to talk about a couple things um for those of you who are here who are watching i am someone who believes that what you choose to do with your body is your choice i apply those same standards to myself I feel like there are a lot of things about my body that I can change. I can work out really hard in the gym and I can get a toned tummy. I can get toned legs and arms. I can just put in the hard work and I can get, for the most part, the aesthetic that I want. And I know that there's a lot of privilege that goes into that. I'm an able-bodied person and I'm very grateful for that. When it comes to certain things like this, but this is kind of a good angle so you can't really tell but i do like genetically have a double chin and the key word there being is that it's mostly genetic and so there's not too much that i can do about it when i weighed a little bit more it was more prominent and it's not super prominent now but i actually think that now that it's not super prominent and that i do have a lower body fat percentage this is probably the better time to do it to give you guys kind of a background i in college had gained a lot of weight 180 pounds might not be a lot for some people but for me on my frame i'm only 5'5 five five, so 180 pounds for me was quite large throughout the process of healing and loving myself i have gotten back to a size that i'm comfortable with and a size that is completely normal and healthy i do practice currently like radical self-love and i love every bit of myself including this I do love it, you know, because like I said, it's genetic, so it's a product of my family and I love my family. So I'm not saying that I hate it and I know that I could have lived with it for the rest of my life and been just fine, but I'm also like, you know what, I have the power to change it and if it's something that I really want and I can afford it, like why not, you know? I actually ended up having my first procedure um, the day that I went in for the consult and so I did that yesterday it was honestly a very good experience like i said i really liked the doctor that even her mother has gone through this procedure and i just feel like a doctor who has put their mother through the procedure probably trusts it 
and so I did feel a lot of security in that. In case you were watching this because you're curious about it, you go in, you talk to the provider, they'll recommend however many sessions they'll think it will take to get to your goals. It'll probably take like three sessions to get rid of the fat based off of what I already have. She said some of her patients only needed one or two. Some of her patients are on procedure six or seven. So it really is kind of tailored to you. She explained the price of each session. I'll be fully transparent with you and say that each session that I will be going through is a thousand dollars each. They do offer specials for three or more treatments. So because I'm doing three treatments, they give you $300 off. So it's actually going to end up being $2,700 instead of 3,000. So after I decided that I was going to do the procedure that day, there's like a big bed that you lay on and then there's the machine there. It looks kind of like little vacuums coming off of a big machine. You lay down, you, at least for anything that's right here, you're gonna have to wear like he a headset. So I put on this headset and then there were little clips right here. So then she clipped that vacuum looking thing onto the clip. So that kind of gets me to the next point. Once you are all hooked up to the machine, um, it starts and it goes through cycles of warm and cool. The lasers, they heat up the fat cells, but then it like cools it down. So you kind of like get to the point where it's like, okay, maybe I'm like a little bit uncomfortable, but then it like shoots cool air maybe at you. And so then it's completely bearable. The doctor that I was with said that some of her patients who are more sensitive, they do struggle with it and they will ask for more bursts of cool air. And so if that is something that you end up doing I guess it's completely okay it's not going to disrupt the process and the doctor will understand but I feel like I kind of have a high pain tolerance so I'm not kidding you I feel like I could have fallen asleep during it it was actually kind of soothing like the noises were kind of like lulling me to sleep and it didn't hurt that bad was it like super comfortable no but like it was again like not bad at all if the pain is something that is keeping you from doing this don't let it because it really was not that bad. Even if you were sensitive, I feel like it's something that anyone could handle. So the entire procedure took 25 minutes. So it was 25 minutes of it being warm, cool, warm, cool. It was just so, so easy. And the doctor was just kind of talking to me the whole time. I listened to some music and then it was done. So like my chin, if it does look different right now, it's very minimal. Cause like I said, I got it done yesterday and your body needs time to get rid of, dispose of the fat cells that have died during the process. So you have to stay super, super hydrated after you get the procedure done and make sure that you're drinking a lot of water so that way your lymphatic system can drain it all naturally. And they also recommend movement. So something that I really like about this procedure versus a couple of the other options is you can get right back to your daily routine. There's no downtime at all. But anyways, that's kind of my spiel on that. That was my experience with it. 10 out of 10, I think just the experience alone was awesome and well worth the money. I don't know. We're going to see how the results are. I'm excited. So excited to see results. It's something that I've just wanted for a long time and I'm so happy that I'm doing this for myself. That pretty much concludes this video. Thank you. If you've made it to this point, I hope that you enjoyed let me know if you have any questions about anything as always i am sending you all the love and thank you so much for being here and i will see you next time